the first thing that I want to show you is the um, we talked about toggle and I know that I said okay we're going to talk about this later we're going to talk about it later so we're going to talk about it now I am in my reseller geography report so if everybody wants to open their reports to reseller geography and we're going to learn how to do a quick toggle and again the toggle is the uh, the box that has that plus sign right in the middle that that's supposed to be my plus sign Chris if you don't mind um, go ahead and mute your your headset or your computer so we're gonna learn how to do this and um, it's pretty cool looking so what we need to do is we need to right click on our city okay the city down in our row groups and we're going to group properties now we want to go to visibility so we've seen this this feature a lot or this this um, this property a lot about showing and hiding so we're gonna hide the city and we want to toggle which means we want to click on a plus sign and then show the city and so basically when it says display toggle on this report item what it's saying is okay what box or where do you want that toggle option um, to, to be placed so you can expand and uh, collapse the city information so it only makes sense that if we're going to hide the city and the information in within that group so oh, that was supposed to be an arrow that we put the box over here all right so we are going to toggle on the state province name so we'll click preview and by default our city and our reseller information has been hidden this is exactly what we wanted and notice what it does here it is summing our reseller sales amount automatically for us as soon as we open that up so we're gonna hit the plus sign it takes that sum sales amount and it breaks it up over the resellers that we have in that city all right so this is another way to only make a high-level view of your data of your result set that you're getting back so let me go over that one more time we said we want to hide this information and we want to toggle on the state so we want to click on the state and then expand the information for our city and reseller and we did that by right clicking on city going to our group properties we went to visibility because we want to hide that information first and then display it if we click on state province name okay so what we're going to do is um, we are going to create another report I know you guys are completely surprised that you have to do that so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add another report we're gonna start talking about expressions and how to visually make your reports dynamic so we're gonna add a new item and let me send the query out now the ones that I'm emailing this query to I'm gonna send you um, a set of group emails or not a group email a, um, a set of group of queries and expressions that we're going to be using so I don't have to keep bombarding you with the emails so don't use them until we get there all right <clears throat> now for the rest of you let me copy this query out and paste it in the chat box All right, so everybody has it now. So we're going to create a report. 
and this report is going to be called expressions or expressions report. And as you might suspect, we're going to add a data source for this report because we want to say we are going to get our data from the AdventureWorks DW 2008 shared data source. For the ones that have never done this, uh, never done this being reported services, do you feel like you're breezing through setting, setting the initial portion up for your reports? You don't always need me to tell you, I'm sure. Uh, data sets. For this data set, um, we'll just call this employee sales by year. Employee sales by year. This is embedded from our data source of AWDW2008. And we're pasting that query in there. Click OK. And I did something. I moved my information when I drug on it. So let me paste it in there again. Oh, OK. No, something really is wrong. Let's see. What did I do wrong? I guess it's uh, you can easily mess up a copy and paste. Okay, let's make sure I didn't forget something. Oh, I know what I forgot, everybody. <laughs> the selects. We need the select up in the first part of it. Sorry about that. So if you copied that, you need the, I forgot to copy the select in there. That's, uh, that's actually a requirement, believe it or not. All right, so everybody should be up there with me now. Here's our columns. So we're going to pull it um, go to our toolbox, and we're going to use a table. And then we're going to drag that table out into our design pane and then go back to our um, report data. From here, we're going to drag in our calendar year to our row groups and our full name to the row groups. 